Let's get something straight here before I start today. Yes, I'm wearing a turtleneck. No, I'm not a serial killer from the 80s. Got it? Just want to clarify before we get into what we're going to talk about today, which is, what are we talking about today? I remember what I was going to talk about today. Why winter is the time you should start working on your infrastructure or do your infrastructure projects. So let's get into that. It's February and we're working on insulating our barn and pouring a concrete floor. It's a lot of construction work and you might be asking yourself or me, why are you doing it in February? Wouldn't it be nicer to do this in June? Yes and no. Uh, there are some really big pros to doing your big projects in the winter. So just a couple of them off the top of my head. The ground is frozen in winter, which means it's easy to get big trucks with uh, you know, deliveries full of building materials or concrete trucks or whatever it is, you can get them back to your barns. In the summertime when it's warmer and muddy and mucky, sometimes you can't get trucks back to where you're working. That is if there is no snow. Right now we have a very mild winter in Connecticut, not a lot of snow. Obviously if there's snow, it's not gonna be as easy. So early winter before the snow falls or if you get a winter like this one and there's not a lot of snow. We have these foam insulation boards uh, this is like 3.5 R value, and it's got the shiny one side, that's like the weatherproof, and we're putting that outside so it's water resistant and it's warm. And on top of that, we'll put our OSB. Um, so that's the other side, the silver side? The Quick update here. This blue <laughs> and silver on the other side insulation board. The jury is a little bit out as to which direction we should face it. Um, we've installed it with the silver side out because we figure that's gonna be a moisture barrier and there's moisture coming through. Generally, that silver side you'd face towards the heated side, which in a house would be inside. But here it's acting as a moisture barrier, so we're gonna face it out. Have fun in the comments below telling me if I did it right or wrong. Another reason it's nice to do this work is because it's cold. And if you're working hard, it's, personally, I, I'd rather work hard in the cold weather than be sweating it out in the summertime. We've got this wall all insulated. It was three and a half sheets. Now we're gonna put OSB over it. But remember, we have to stagger the creases. You never wanna line up the creases. So instead of putting a whole piece here, and a whole piece here and a whole piece there and then a half down at the end then all these creases would line up and although it probably wouldn't be a big deal it might you know water draft it's always better to stagger so now we're going to start on that end and put a full piece full piece full piece and our half piece will line up right in the middle and all the creases will be overlapped and be nice and tight and warm and cozy for our piggies and anything else we put in this barn foreshadowing the third reason I like to do a lot of infrastructure projects in the winter is because generally you have less animals, especially if you do like meat animals, uh, less to care for, or less to worry about. And uh, for us, we actually, our barns are empty throughout the winter right now. So it means it's just, you can work, you can focus on infrastructure before the animals arrive. You always wanna be done with your infrastructure before the animals arrive. That's why we're doing a big push on finishing this barn. Speaking of big, push, I better get to work because the animals are coming March 1st and this barn is going to be insulated and floored. You heard it. My wife's holding me to that. Let's get cracking. Last piece for today. My wife measured and cut perfectly. I guess I cut, but she measured it perfectly. Come on. Yeah. I swear these nails and these bits, for all number two, they never seem to fit. Yeah, that's it. 
fits into all small, right? But they're, I met, I got the right numbers, I checked. Because it never seems to work. <laughs> the barn is not enough. Octopussy cat. License to milk. In the comments below, I want your best James Bond farm pun. Pun. Farm pun. Best James Bond farm pun. Wow, that is a tongue twister. Comments below. Well, we got one wall done today. One wall with a sleeping baby in the pack and play and then on my back. The things you gotta do, man, when you're a homesteading family, you got a bunch of little kids, and you just wanna get stuff done, get one of them baby carriers. He does pretty good in that, except for when you got the impact driver going, that spooked him a little bit, but. All right, I gotta take me and my turtle neck self inside, warm up and have some dinner. Make sure to subscribe, and remember, comments below, the best James Bond farm pun you can think of. All right. See you tomorrow. This never again with the turtleneck. Never again.